Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today's video is very interesting to say the least. So I really like Fashion Nova. You guys know I'm always buying stuff from there. Pretty much my entire closet is Fashion Nova and as such I follow them on Instagram. That way I can see when they post some super cute new outfits and I can get them straight away. Sounds sponsored. It's definitely not. Anyway, I follow them on Instagram and the other day I was scrolling through my Instagram feed looking at cute pics when I I saw that Fashion Nova had posted this, a clothing life hacks video. And I watched it and some of them looked really cool and others, not so much. So you guys know I'm really into DIYs. I'm not always the best at them, but you know, the attempt is there. So I thought it'd be really fun if we watched these life hacks together and then attempted to recreate them to see if Fashion Nova's life hacks are the best thing ever or if they should just stick to making clothes. So without further ado, I mean, let's just get on into it because some of these are interesting. All right, I've moved over. That way we can put on the screen what I am seeing here. So let's watch this video together. Make an old OOTD new again. I love that. All right, now we are taking some sweatpants into sweatshorts, which is actually perfect because it's currently going into summer in Australia. It's spring right now, so it's really hot. So perfect time to turn some trackies into some shorts. So again, you just cut across them, fold for the hemline, cute. And that's it, a no so DIY. Oh my God, we love that after my last DIY where I literally spent days sewing. I am not sewing again for a very long time. So that one looks really easy. I think it'll work. I don't think anything will go wrong. So let's go do that. All right, let's cut up some tracky pants and turn them into shorts. So these are the pants that I'm going to cut up. I know they are so cute. They are white covered in rhinestones, but I bought them over a year ago when I was at the guided store in London. That store has since shut down. That's how old these are and I haven't really worn them. I think I've worn them like twice. So maybe as a shorts I will wear them more. Now, usually at this point when I've cut one side I would usually fold these over. That way I can cut it the exact same on the opposite side here but Fashion Nova didn't do that in their life hacks so we aren't going to either so hopefully I'm just going to be able to make it the same by eyeballing it. I'm lucky I have these diamantes, makes it easier but yeah that would definitely be something that I would have done but that's okay. It's not what we're doing today. All right, that is done. And this is what we have. Now we're just going to fold up the shorts just like they did in the video and we are done. One thing that I'm noticing is that these tracksuit pants are quite thin. I don't know if it's all tracksuit pants are like this or just these ones. So I'm not confident that this is gonna stay roll it up by itself without any sewing but I mean that's the completed DIY super easy let's put it on and see how it looks all right these are what the tracky shorts look like on it so this is the front and this is the back and I am so happy with how these turned out I really didn't think that these were going to work because it just seemed too simple you know all you had to do was cut them and then roll them up like Surely not, but it worked and I really like how these look. As I said, my tracksuit pants, and when, you know, when they were actual trackies, never really got any use. So now, hopefully, these will get worn this summer. Well, maybe not summer. These are going to be way too hot in the summer because it's, it's currently spring and I already have my aircon on because it is really hot. So these are maybe good for spring or even cute PJ pants, you know. If you have your friends over, you don't want to wear your daggy PJs because I definitely have quite a few of those. This would be perfect. This next DIY I am nervous for because it involves getting a maxi skirt and turning it into a mini LBD, which I think it looks okay. I actually kind of don't like how it looked on the model there, but anyway, so you cut the bottom hem. As you guys can see, can you see that? They haven't really cut it very well. It's very diagonal, which looks like a cut that I would make, <laughs> definitely. I most definitely not want to talk at all. Like my DIYs, you guys have seen, sometimes the lines aren't the best, but just, just pointing it out. We might try and get it a little bit straighter than that because that would look weird on the model. Then they cut the straps 
and I think that's it. This LBD, I'm nervous for because I have a maxi skirt and I bought it for a DIY ages ago. I was going to recreate a Met Gala costume, but it was just out of my uh, DIY league. So I didn't use it and I haven't used it at all since, so I'm happy to cut it up. But like... It doesn't look that cute. The little straps, I don't know, I'm not really feeling them. So maybe we'll see if I can do something else after that. I don't know. It just, I feel like not the best. So let's just go try it, see what happens. But I don't know. I kind of think it looked cuter as a maxi skirt than as this dress. It's kind of like, did you really need to cut that up? Really? I don't know. So, I mean, let's go try. And now for the clothing hack, I've been the most nervous for the maxi skirt. So, I have the maxi skirt here and I'm now just going to do what they said and flip it upside down. All right, and then from here, I'm going to cut off the bottom hem. Whew! Okay, I'm nervous. This is where I always get nervous because it's like after you do this, there's literally no going back. So, I'm just going to turn it to the side a little so I can cut it easier. There's really quite a lot of pressure for me to do a straight line here after talking trash at Fashion Nova's uh, dodgier looking line, but I, I don't think I've done it too well. All right, and there we have it cut. Uh, honestly, not the straightest line either, but I think it's straighter than Fashion Nova's. Again, usually I would then clean this up, but in the life hacks video, as we saw, Fashion Nova had a dodgy line and they didn't clean it up, so I I'm not going to either and I'm just gonna leave it as is and move on to the next step and that is to cut some straps up the top here that way it'll look more like a dress so in the video they do a two finger space and then that's where they cut it so let's do that I'm gonna use the opposite oh okay this is really difficult to do whilst filming all right there we go I can seem roughly where that was how far in do I go just a little bit okay we need a little bit more than that but not too much there, I'm guessing. Is that big enough? Is that like theirs? Why am I so stressed? <laughs> okay, let's do this side as well. And that's it, super quick and easy. So now let's uh, put it on and see if it was worth cutting up this cute maxi skirt to turn it into a dress or if it was better off as a skirt. Okay, this is what the maxi skirt now turned into a dress looks like. So this is the front and this is the back. And obviously it doesn't look like it's meant to. And that's because it is way too short. I have cut off way too much material off my skirt and I can't wear it like the photo says. So I'll show you guys what it would look like. This is what it would look like. Clearly with the yikes box, you guys can see that this dress is way too short to wear. And I don't really like how this top bit looks, so I think it would look a lot cuter like this. But still, I mean, it's still only just long enough. And I really just, I just wouldn't recommend doing this life hack. I think if you do want to do it, definitely don't cut off as much material as I did. But it's just not worth it. Like, yeah, it looks kind of okay, but it's super uncomfortable to wear since it's the hem up here there is no give on this and it's pinching my skin really tight the issue is it might look good on camera but it's just not practical to wear out and about it's just it's unfortunately not going to work all right this next one is from a cropped graphic tee to a halter top so first of all I love that top. That's really cute. I have to add that to my cart. Paranoid. Oh, me. So, you lay it flat and cut off the sleeves. I'm with you so far, Fashion Nova. That I can do. Turn it around. See this? I don't understand why they used a black top for this part. You can't see what they're doing. Like, why would you use black in a tutorial on this where you need to see what's happening? Like, I can't really see what they're cutting, so I'm just going to have to guess and hope that I'm doing it right. But yeah, that's a little bit odd. I don't know why they used black, but anyway, that's a DIY. Again, it looks really simple and easy, and I think it does look quite good on the model. And now to cut up a perfectly good t-shirt into a halter neck top. The t-shirt that I've chosen is one that I've literally never worn before. As you can tell, it's really crinkled. I bought it in a YouTube video where I blindfolded myself and bought stuff online, and this is what arrived. It wasn't this crinkled. It's just been sitting there forever. I wish I had an iron to iron this, but I don't, unfortunately. So I thought this was perfect to cut up because I haven't worn it before, so it's okay if 
it doesn't turn out right. I've just noticed in the Fashion Nova video it says turning a cropped graphic tee into a halter neck top. This top obviously isn't cropped so that is the first step we're gonna have to do. We'll crop it ourselves. All right now that it's cropped we can get into the actual Fashion Nova DIY and we're starting by cutting off the sleeves just here on the line there. Wow I really wish I'd ironed this top. It's so embarrassing but I'm in too deep. I mean I've already turned it into a crop top. I've got to keep going. There we go. Looking honestly a little bit cute. This could be cute by itself, but Fashion Nova doesn't stop there. So let's flip this over. Oh, that didn't work out. And continue. So we're going to cut it straight down the middle. That's the first step. They don't use any measurements or anything like that. They just freehand it. So that is what I am also going to do. And I guess it doesn't really matter because they cut the entire thing off anyway. This next part is where it gets a little bit confusing because I can't really see what they're doing. So I'm just going to guess and hope for the best. All right. It says to cut inside here. So this is basically going to be part of the strap. Okay. 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 I've watched this video 10 times now. I think I know what to do. So I'm cutting along here and this is going to be the strap. That'll be like the halter neck part. But I only go to like, oh my God, about there, I think. Okay. 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 Then I cut down to, I don't know how far I, they don't go all the way. I'm so stressed you guys I guess to about there and then I cut it and that is the strap so that's like the necktie part okay that was um okay <laughs> so now let's do it to the other side all right now that we have an absolute mess going on here I need to do even more cutting so I'm getting more and more confused I'm actually starting to get quite frustrated with this life hack and it's all because it's done on a black t-shirt and I can't really see what they're doing because this next part is where I meant to cut away the middle fabric but I don't know what that is. I don't know if I've done this wrong and I can't flipping see it. So them doing it on black fabric just makes zero sense to me and I'm quite annoyed at it but I'm gonna keep going. The t-shirt looks disgusting but we're just we're just gonna keep moving forward. So my guess is, oh my god this is just a mess. This is just like <laughs> not it but I'm guessing the middle fabric that I'm meant to cut away is along here. Oh my god, did I just ruin it? No, okay, I think that this is actually meant to be gone, but I didn't do that because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Oh my god, this is just a mess. And that was honestly one of the most frustrating DIYs I've ever done in my life because I, I couldn't follow the instructions. So let's just go try it on and see how it looks. Alrighty, booze, this is what the top looks like on and honestly, not that bad. As you guys saw, I got quite frustrated when making this top. I just thought it was too much work. I didn't understand what the heck I was meant to be doing. But now that it's on, really not too bad. I don't think this is a top I would wear out and about. It's just not very cute. And I understand why Fashion Nova use a black top because this white top is see-through because white tops are always see-through. And you can't not wear a bra underneath it because it's see-through, but it has an open back. So it is pretty cute and I do like the general idea of it, but I don't know. I just think it wasn't worth all the fuss to have this. Like it doesn't really look that cute. Mine doesn't look like theirs either, which is a little bit disappointing. Theirs looked a lot cuter. So I don't know if I did something wrong. I'm sure I'll get told in the comments below if I did, but it's just not worth it. I mean, it would just be better again to just go buy the actual top than trying to mess around and cut it up and potentially ruin a really cute t-shirt. All right, this next one is transferring, nope, transforming leggings into a top. And I think this is my favorite in this DIY. I think it looks really cute, that top. So you cut a diagonal cut and actually, I have seen this before where people turn leggings into a top. However, they just do like the one cut, they cut it in the crotch and then just like, this is awkward, but put their head through and then that's the t-shirt. So, not t-shirt, sorry, the top. But I like that Fashion Nova hasn't just done that. They are using their creative juices to do something different. And I think it's made it look really cute. I don't really have any printed leggings like that, but I do have a pair of camo workout leggings that are actually from Fashion Nova. I've 
got them in the beginning of the year when I was working out. I don't really work out anymore. And they kind of sit too low on me. I prefer high-waisted yoga pants. So that is the perfect one to cut up for this DIY. So let's do it. I'm nervous, but I think that this will turn out the best overall. So the first thing that Fashion Nova said to do is to fold them over and then cut a diagonal rectangle slit. Um, okay, so let's move this over a little bit. I did it wrong. <laughs> I have just cut the rectangle incorrectly. You weren't meant to cut out a hole. You were just meant to cut out a rectangle and not actually cut the thing out. And that's what I did. So this is a fail. Let's find another pair of leggings to try this again, I guess. So I've just gone looking at, through my wardrobe and the only leggings that I want to cut up are these cotton ones. They're not going to look very cute as a top though. So I do have these that are this cool little chain pattern. The only thing is they're bike shorts, but I'm thinking that should be okay. So I'm going to try this again. I literally cannot believe that I did that. It's not Fashion Nova's fault. Obviously it's mine. I didn't follow the instructions and now I've ruined these pants. So great okay moving on all right let's take two and do this hopefully the right way this time all right with my scissors it says to cut like this okay there we go yeehaw step one done now up here we cut a half circle and then down here we cut a half rectangle All right, that is all of the cutting. So now this is apparently going to be a very cute top. Ah, uh, 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 I'm not feeling all too confident, but um, let's just go try it on and see what we think. All right, Breeze, this is what the top looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. The back I actually think looks quite cute. The front, I've messed up here. I don't know what went on here. This little hole here, it ain't it. But this is what I will do. I'll sew it up here and then, I don't know, kind of cute. I really didn't think it was gonna look this cute and I'm salty that I ruined it with this hole in the front. But you know, apart from that, not bad, Fashion Nova, damn. You're coming through with the cute hacks. And those were all of Fashion Nova's clothing life hacks tested. What did you guys think? I kind of think maybe clothing life hacks aren't the best uh, option for Fashion Nova. I love their clothes, I love the brand, I'm always gonna be shopping from them, but I just, I don't know. I kind of think that a lot of those clothing hacks were unnecessary, the item looked gorgeous before, and then after, it didn't look the best. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know it down in the comment section below. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or these successful life hacks in action, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are on the screen right now and also linked down below. And that's all for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah. Love ya. Thank you.